What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of Basaria. As Velvet just stretches, uh, we still have to get the control room, get to the control room, and get the key for the gate. So that's our current objective right now. Of course, if you guys missed out on the last episode, you can go to the playlist and check it out. And I see another kitty soul. We'll grab that bad boy. We have a conversation. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder. I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushi Amada? Oh! I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No, That's not... I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushi Amada knives are cursed. Mm hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Mm. Such is the fate of House Rangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. Well, I think that the blade on his back is one of those blades he's talking about. That's why he can't use it, because it'll cause him to strike out against, well, basically us, his teammates. So that's my theory. A game! Nope. Shut up. You're not Matt Pat. He's a beautiful human being, and you're pathetic. Okay. <laughs> Let's... Self-deprivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hopefully this is actually the right way to go. I believe it is. It's been a few days since I played this darling game here. I was trying to stay ahead of the head of the game. Uh, but could not do that. Could not stay ahead too far. So it is I'm recording this on Monday and it's going up on Monday. I've read you guys comments. I always do. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are concerned that I won't give any other characters a chance because I say that I'm madly in love with Velvet. So I will do just that. I will I will I will try my best. Um I tried Rokuro once. Let's try Aizen. Can we switch you? Let me switch you. Me? Make you the leader. Yes, you're the leader. Now let's look at our arts. No, I want to look at the arts for... Uh, okay, here we go. We have Fate. Punches the air fast enough to generate a shockwave that can strike out of reach enemies. Okay, Verdict. Snapping trap that creates a shockwave. You have to attack forward. Okay, I like attacking forward. Punches using the whole body, sending out waves of compressed air. Hops back a step, then unleashes a hook with a wide arc, ripping through the air. So he's all about those punches. Quickness restores the amount of HP to one ally or moves slow. We're not going to use that. That's not our type of thing. Uh, we'll go ahead. I'm more of a guy, I'm more of a melee guy, so we're going to go with uh, tempo. I mean, it looks like verdict tempo is a good combo, according to that. I mean, we pretty much could use any other button then. Uh, correction performs a sudden shot that draws enemy is in. Ooh, so we could do that. Coercion into. Uh, I guess it's backwards to use fate, but just in case anyone's coming towards us, we'll do that. Let's try that out. Bam! Now we're the beautiful Aizen. We're controlling Aizen. Everyone must be so happy to see this man on the screen as opposed to that woman who I enjoyed having on the screen, but whatever. All right, this is, this is where the control room should be, I think. Oh, uh, oh lizard. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wait, why am I? Hold on. What the nuts? Where's Aizen? Okay, we also need to change uh, strategy. I was told very many a time to uh, change it to semi-auto. Everyone should be semi-auto. All right, so no matter who we are, we're semi-auto. Great. So he's using whiplash right away. So we're gonna go to semi-auto. Ow. Okay, what? I dodged that. He feels so like slowish. That hit me. The hitbox. All right, despite being on semi-auto, I did not hit him even a little bit. I'm about to get bodied. He's so much slower than Velvet. Ooh, with those heals, though. Number two, I got your... I tried to get your back, but apparently the back blade is too strong. Keep those heals coming, number two. I wonder if Aizen has an R2. I was going to find out, but I guess not. I wish I had power like that. Yeah, I really do wish I did. Mar it, Madden boosted punches. Uh, martial arts. And Malak arts elemental attack centered on wind and earth. 
This is for Aizen. While punches may seem like they would have short reach, Aizen's mana-powered fist can cover up to mid-range and some allow him to rush the enemy. His offensive Malak arts are primarily limited to wind and earth elements, but he can also learn arts that provide the utility in other ways, like enabling him to quickly traverse the battlefield. Oh, Shantae, little girl. Can we break these rocks? We actually can't. I'm pretty surprised that we can't break these rocks, but we can grab a bunch of cat souls. No, okay, we can't. I thought we could make that jump. I don't know why in whose name I thought I could make that jump. But let's get let's get out of here. Hey, get down, Aizen. Enough playing. There is an explanation point somewhere over yonder, so I think we should go find that. Potentially. Potentially? Uh, let's go over here. Let's see. We got another cat souls. There's more enemies out there. But I think this is the wrong way. I think this is where we very first this is where we very first came from. So let's go back. And let us find the correct location of the control room. Okay, we could try going down these stairs. Let's try going down here. Have we gone down here? Oh, this is like this is also where we came from, is it not? I feel like it is. There's the battleship we destroyed. Maybe not. Maybe we haven't gone this way. Let's check it out. Like I said, it's been a few days, especially since I first got to this uh Gosh darn place. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking. Okay, this also leads out. That's where we first came from. That's for darn certain with the big block boys that I loved fighting with Velvet. We climbed these ladders, it took 93 years, so now we can take another another 93 years and climb these ladders. So like I said, guys, this series is gonna be uploaded every what was it? Uh Monday, Saturday, Thursday, and Wednesday. I believe that's what I said. I want to stick to what I said. I want to stick to what I said, so we'll be uploading it then. Uh, let's climb up this ladder again. We'll never go down here. We'll never do it. Uh, this room is locked. We need the key. That's what we need the key to. So let's try it. I know we've already been here. Okay, so there's something something over here we have to do. There is another door, but we can't get over there just yet. Maybe we can't crack this because we're not uh, a daemon? No, okay. I was hoping maybe, 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 maybe if I switch to a demon instead of a reaper, I'd be able to crack those rocks. Now, let's check here, which this is the way that I would think we have to go. Honestly. This is honestly the way that I would think we have to go. Awesome. Huge damage. Oh, if I can, if I can actually... Why is it recentering when I press L1? What is going on? Get me out of the way. Get me out of the way. Here we go. Uh, did you get anyone with that? You got the bat? You got one bat. That bat touched you. You let that bat touch you. Are you kidding me? There we go. I have three souls. Let's do it. Woo! Those black bat wings. You know what that means. All right. Figure it out, Shady. There's something over here. What's over there? Hey, I want to get over there. No, we don't. Wait, there's a silver chest over there. I do want to get over there. Something. Can I? Can I? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually dumb. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys. I cannot even imagine. I can't even imagine the comment section right now. It's literally on the map. It literally shows you. You can walk over there. Holy. Holy. I might have to cut this episode up. I, I don't know if I can. I don't even know if I can live with myself. I don't know if I could live with myself if I, if, I, if I kept all of that in. Nah, I'm not keeping it all in. There's no way. I'm not wasting 20 minutes of your time for no progress. I'll, I'll, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll waste 10 minutes of your time for no progress. Maybe even 15. The extra five is going to have to go. The extra five is going to have to go. We got raids over here. Whoa, whoa! That wasn't cool. Yeah, suck you all in. That's right. Get suckled. Get suckled. Power hits though. Come on, get the, where's the stun? There we go. We're getting really nice grades on these fights though, since we switched the eyes in. Really solid grades. We got more herbs over there. Ooh, we got kitty souls and bats. I missed one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. At least we finally found it. It took us literal. Oh my gosh, it took us forever. Uh, I don't need to fight you guys. I'm actually too strong right now. They call me. They call me Mr. Too Strong. 
You know, like Mr. Two Step, uh, him and I used to hang out a lot. I'm Mr. Too Strong. Comedy? Anyone laughing? No, just me? All right, awesome. Let's get, oh, I mean, this is the side we wanted to be on. Wraiths and Lizards, my favorite. My favorite combination. Oh, I'm about to swap to Velvet. I miss R2-ing. R2-D2. You guys either need to get stunned or chill out. Look, she gets to devour now. Must be nice. I gotta fight close to her if I really wanna win. Anyone stunned? No one stunned. R2 is not working. There we go. Victory is ours. Why are you getting happy? I, I did the fireball. I spit flames. You guys see that explanation point? You guys see that? I'm not climbing these vines yet. I'm going in this door. It's locked from the inside. That's a real thick I'm not going in the door. This must be the control yeah, room, thick. right? That's my guess. We need another way in. That window would probably work if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. Mmm. Like these vines right here. I'm not sure all we can do is search and start by looking around here. Let's start by climbing some vines and getting some kitty souls. Oh, a wraith appears out of nowhere. They jump in front of you and scare. What do we got over here? This window right here. BAM! All right, so I'll have to this record for an extra 10 minutes. Place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Oh, will you now? We're splitting up. Someone was begging me to remove the glasses off velvet. I'm like, why? Ah. <gasps> the compass! Aha. Uh -huh. Found it. The holding nothing! Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No, I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. Come on, Velvet. Velvet you gotta yeah, we know. Get that gate open. We needed a compass too. Nice work. Thank you. Oh. Everything's ready. Come on. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, my compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. <sighs> well, no worry. I'll just push your bump back down. You'll be good as new. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. I love Rokuro. <clears throat> Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. 
It'll make the swelling go down. Oh. Oh. Okay. Malik number two. Let's see what else we can find in this room before we head out of here. We got some tarnished hmm. silver. And we got some conversation. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen. It's soft mm -hmm. as a baby's skin. It's light and stretchable. It breathes, and it's quite durable. Sounds like a cell. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact. It. My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is something I would do. Your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right. All right. Yes, ma'am. Is that an order? Is that an order? All right. So we can go out the front door now instead of the. Okay. Aww. Let's go out the front door now. The door is now unlocked. We don't gotta go through the window like barbarians. Okay. Sure, we're thieves, we're pirates, and, and reapers, and, and demons, but it doesn't matter. Good punches, man. Great punches. Hey, don't stay, that's the soul I was gonna get. Are you really gonna steal it from me? You are, you're not, good. Can we get a stun? Can you recenter? Hitting L1, but nothing seems to happen. There we go. Woo! See, Velvet knows! I wish I had power like that. was a terrible fight, though. Terrible, terrible fight. 0.54 grade. More like half a lame. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. Let's go back up this ladder. More ladders. I'm happy and excited, but luckily we don't have to climb the whole thing. Oh, lizard butt! Lizard man followed me to the ends of the earth. Once again, excellent punches. Thank you, Rokuro. How can you block me? You're be I'm hitting you from behind. Can you stun one of them? Oh my gosh. I'm getting cut up. Number two, I need heals. Number two, I really need more heals than that. There we go. If you want to there live, we go. My way. Yeah. Amber boots. I, I just want the kitty soul. I didn't want you. I don't know what that meant, but it was not good. Thaddeus. Just get a stun. Get a stun. Don't get cut up. Get a stun. Here we go. All right, what did you hit? One human with that? You seem like you hit anything. Keep me healthy. Keep me healthy, number two. There we go, Velvet. There we go. Oh, there's a soul sitting right over here. I guess someone sidestepped without me knowing. Maybe I sidestepped without me knowing. That was point nine. That's still pretty good, considering how garbage it felt. I feel like a garbage your fight, but it was very nice. Okay, we finally, finally progressed past this point in the game because it took me 93 hours to figure out that there's a path right here. Oh my goodness, I still can't get over that. I still cannot get over that. That's craziness. That's actually insanity. It's actual insanity. All right, now that we have the key, let's save our game. Because you already know. Only you can prevent the loss of data that should have been saved. Only you can prevent it. That's my good friend Nappy says. Well, he doesn't say exactly that, but he says it! All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. Yeah, All will. right, quickly. 
<laughs> He's so cute. He loves you, Velvet. We gotta do it quickly, which means we don't got a time. We don't got a time. We don't got a time for race and for bats. But I do have time for herbs and souls. Well, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. All right, don't let that bat touch you while you're climbing. Awesome. We nailed it. Nailed it, guys. Nailed it. Look at him. Come on. Hi, guys. Like, it's great. He's a, Eisen's a great guy. We could jump from there, too. We won't, though. We don't have the uh, cojones. More ladders. Man. Game development is tricky. I love in Zelda where you just jump, jump, jump. It's just great. You just jump, jump, jump. I love it. I'm super, super, uh, super impressed by it. Climbing ladders has never been more fun than in Breath of the Wild. What do we have 200 souls by now? 196. Four more souls when we got 200. All right, there's the there's the lever. There, I see the lever. We got sake, 199. There it is. So this opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Ooh. There she goes. All right. There let's find the other she device. goes. All right, we came in from the ladder, so let's go over here. Oh no, we came in from here. You dummy! The ladder's where we gotta go. More climbing. But luckily, the blue, the blue teleportation thing is right there. All right. Wait, this looks awfully familiar. Am I sure? Am I sure this is the right way? I think it is. I think this. It makes. It makes a lot of sense because uh, we have to go to the other side. There's the other lever. Let's grab these souls so we can break 200. A little out. Chips, copper coin. And let's pull this lever. Ooh. Is she coming in? The butte? Is the butte coming in? Bring her inside like a nice. Wow. Doors. And it's open. Riveting. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. Wait, wait, but we didn't even go in this door yet. You can't tell me. You can't. You can't tell me that I. Ha oh, Kitty Souls! Look at this. We got a chest. How much? Two. Oh, it only cost thirty-five. I thought it cost two hundred and five. I was like, wow, we got lucky. A mark of purity in girls and in boys too. Hold on, hold on. I know exactly who I want to give this to. Where are these rosy cheeks? There we go. There we go. A mark of purity. Right, guys? Come on. Look at look how cute he is. Look at cute little cheek. All right, I'm sorry, Rokuro. I really do apologize. Obviously, that's meant for number two. But we're going to give it to Rokuro because, gosh darn it, if I don't like a pure swordsman as much as the next guy. Oh, How you do like that? This is my. This is my. This is my fortress! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no! You fool! This wife's supposed to stay in your bag! Did he crush it? Ah, number two. This guy's fortress, though. Battle tutorial. Spending three break gauge levels will unleash an ultimate art and also provide one soul. In addition, defeating an enemy with a mystic art will increase the item drop rare item drop rates. Use L2 during a combo. This is the first time we're doing this. Wait, I did I did it. I did it, but use L2 during a combo. Oh, maybe we have to hold L2 right now. No. It's it's the same way as R2 is. Why isn't it working? Wait, that kind of that kind of almost did it. I I, I don't understand. It's one of those things that's not working. Use L2 during a combo. I, I, I wish I could tell you guys what I'm doing wrong. Oh. 
Whoa! Once learned Mystic Arts can be used to devastate foes by holding L2 during a combo with three or more BG. These arts ignore the combo limit and are useful in extending combos once you have reached the maximum. They also grant a soul upon use. Defeating a foe with Mystic Art greatly increases equipment drop rates. Oh my gosh. Alright, so Mystic Arts is incredible. Wow, we get stunned! So even though I'm doing it right now, I, I guess I need to be in my... It seems like I need to be in my, uh, this form. But I don't have 3 BG now. But that, I, it did it again. Oh no, that was just, that was my regular thing. I don't know, I, I definitely don't understand why it's not working. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's working very well. It says hold L2 when using a combo of three or more. So if I wait, hold L2, and it doesn't work, I'm sure the comment section will open up my eyes. I mean, I'm holding L2 the way it said. I'm trying tapping L2 the way it said. Oh, I thought I did it for a second. Oh my gosh, I'm getting trampled. Number two, I need heals. Please do it. I have... It's not going to be Mystic Arts, though. Oh, I don't have the, enough Soul Gosh. I'm at zero right now. Never mind. So I can't do it. I need to build that first. All right. At least that explains it. Please, I dodged this. Right, so since I sidestepped, the Soul should have appeared somewhere, but it didn't. Now that I'm not trying to do that other thing, we can just finish him off easily. You need three. <laughs> Look at Rokuro's cheeks. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so another new mechanic. Awesome. The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. Hehe. <laughs> I love the Reaper. I love Aizen. Oh, shoot! We got straight up movie scene time. At full speed. Let's get a move on then. Oh, he's getting the compass back. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? Oh, I have 
goosebumps. Don't I'm literally gonna cry. Like that. I'm sorry. Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> You're lucky mommy lives around. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so she definitely knows. She definitely knows. If her sister became a Moloch, then so did her brother. Like, that's what Otorius was doing. Otorius was converting. Oh my gosh, come on. Perfect Mayhem, Shell Splitter, and Form Zero Sunder. Plain paper to ring, amber boots, equipment skill masteries are done. So we gotta we gotta get some new equipment on there. The Sears Gal Gal Glacite provides the ability to trigger a random skill that increases the amount of BG. Filling this gauge will allow character to unleash their mystic arts. A character that has learned a mystic art can be performed by holding L2 with three or more BG during a combo. This can be extended a past combo to its limits. Gotcha. Arts can gain star through reputed use. The number of star on an art influences the efficiency of title skills. Also, the amount of BG character receives at the beginning of combat is directly proportional to the total number of stars between all of the character's arts. Oh, so now leveling up arts is even more important. Because we need that BG, that background. <sighs> Nicely done. You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun, and everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. <laughs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading yeah. and your shark bait. <gasps> Look at Rokuro's cheeks! <laughs> I saw it at the last second of that scene. Um, what's <laughs> Luffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My... My name? Luffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Lafayette. set. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Oh, man. I'm all in my feels now because he's got a name. But that, that was not the, that was not straight. You have to do some curves. There were some curves on that compass. I don't know what. I do not know what. Oh. Now this is refreshing. Sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. Yeah. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here. So, how were the Northern Seas, Eisen? Helavis and Vortigern are in the oh, I guess not. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. Titania? The island prison overseen Titania. by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. Mm. I see. So they exchange Lots information for mooring. Watchwise. Information for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Eisen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. That's true. 
Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was mm. the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yeah, it does. Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. Mmm. Mmm. All headed to the capital. Can I get this bird? No, he just stays there. This is the brave. This is braver than the pigeons in New York City. Are you kidding me? I miss seeing Velvet. All right, guys. I miss seeing Velvet. We're gonna make her the leader, even if we're fighting with. Uh, no. Now that Velvet has this awesome freaking um. Yeah, you're up. And now Velvet has an awesome freaking By thing. Way, I kind of want to use her, but I'm sure they all do. So I guess we'll scout out what Eisen's is. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. The details. He'll give me the details. We got a save spot. We're not going to save just yet, though. What is this little guy? Slash thrust pop! Who wants to play a game? No, 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 no. I'm not playing a game. I'm playing a game right now. Cannot, cannot afford play a game. Oi, if you need anything, send a Sylph J. Sylph J and the Von Alicia will sail to the rescue wherever you may be. Yeah? What if we're inland? Not a problem. The crew will carry her if we have to. Wow, okay, all right. So they're gonna pick the boat up and get it done. The docks are an arena for sailors. Walk too slow and they'll shove you into the water. At least that's what they all shouted to me. Anyway, just be careful. Let's see if there's any items over here. Well, actually, I... Eh? Yeah, let's go over here. Let's check it out. Got a nice little lighthouse. No kitty souls. No nothing, though. Just a kitty. An actual, real live kitty. Soon I'll be able to see the savior of the world with my own two eyes. Oh, dear. I feel tears welling up from them already. I hope this is worth a trip from the southern islands. I hear there are ceremonies being held in the capital. Time to start moving, I guess. All right, so the capital is popping with population. People are going to be there from all over the land trying to see the savior. What is this? Is it going to be Colette? And apparently I missed like a huge Symphonia thing. I will admit it's been many, 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 many years since I've played Symphonia all the way through. So I guess I missed something really obvious and I'm pathetic. Let's all go see the ceremony. It's been so long since we've had a fun event. It's been 10 years of darkness since the opening. But now there's a ceremony complete with even plays and musicians. It'd be a shame to miss all that. All right, so he's got stores. We got nothing crazy going on over here. Uh, but we do have a silver chesticle. And it has the Calcite Blade. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and start with you. The Calcite Blade is stronger, but less HP. I will take it. It looks like, I don't like the way it looks though. I definitely like the way the Blood Blade looks, but we can, we can, we can, we can go ahead and bump that up at some point. We've already mastered both of these. Uh, all of these skills are mastered for her. Uh, Fire Ring is still not mastered, so we'll keep them on. Uh, and then these amber boots we don't have mastered yet, but I don't think- Oh, this is mastered. Our focus is mastered. So let's go ahead and equip these amber boots. Uh, I don't see any stars on this, right? Isn't that what I would want to see? Stars? I don't see any stars. They said stars on the title. Bladed Tempest. Character level 13 out of 30. Okay, so we still haven't done that. Uh, we still have to- we still have to wait. We have to wait it out. Playtime, we need 3,000 minutes. Hold on. We're going to we're gonna go and switch to something else then. We're going to go with stuns. Increases dagger duration. So we're going to go incapacitator. Uh, let's check the equipment for you guys. Is there anything else? Anything new that you need to be mastered? Amber bracelet. A lot less attack though, and I can't really afford that. I can't really afford that. Memory lockets. Uh, it's not mastered yet, so we'll keep it on. Waistcoat not mastered yet. Aqua ring is mastered. So let's check out an earth ring. Uh, amber boots. We have not gotten these battle boots just yet, so let's do that. And then we have an empty hand. We can put something in here. Let's go with, um... Malik Arts. Let's go with Martial Arts. Punishing Pudgelist. 
Because uh, when I'm controlling him, that's what he's mostly going to be using anyway. Plain paper. Any of these papers better? Uh, this paper looks pretty good, but it brings down your attack and your magic by a good amount. This at least has a new master skill to learn, so we'll we'll equip the amber paper. The amber bag has a new thing we can master. Uh, natural waistcoat increases our defense, decreases our HP and our magicka, which sucks, but let's go ahead and master it. It's all about that mastering. Let's master this fire ring. Let's master these battle boots, I guess, because just because we can get our, our focus increased. And... Child of the Wild. So once we, we just have to discover consumable items. Okay, that's easy enough. I keep exiting out when I should just wait. This has been mastered. This has not been, but this is so much weaker. I know that this gives us, like, defense. Ah, uh, you know... It'll give us the art, the art skill, the random defense. I guess we'll do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth, like, being crippled for a little bit. Wow, these Amber Talismans are actually pretty good. Uh, this one specifically. I really like this. Gives you a lot of HP. Uh, we'll work on that one first, getting that mastered. Let's go ahead and equip an Aqua Ring. Actually, let's go with this. Increase our defense. Battle boots have been mastered, so anything else that we can master? No, no other boots. All right. And this gives us one attack, damage reduction while stunned increased by 25%. Increases stagger duration of arts based on their star level. Okay, let's go Master Smith then. Okay. So now that we've taken care of all of, all of our items, uh, item equipment anyway, let's go check out these, uh, let's check out these explanation points, these conversations that are bound to happen with this beauty velvet. This beautiful velvet leading the way. Talk to me, belly man. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, he even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorized Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free mm. is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? That's true. The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever mm. met a human like him. What does this kid have to say? Nearly a hundred ships come through Port Zexton each day. It's like the beating heart of the Empire. That means that we're the ones running the world. After the Abbey, of course. The crew of the Van Valla Val Valley looks like a cruel bunch, but they're very polite and even swab the docks. I hope the rougher sailors out there look to them as an example. You're right, but their skipper has a look in his eye that chills my very soul. Oh, yeah? Aye, food is being shipped around normally now. I couldn't imagine such a thing three years ago. We really do owe the exorcists a lot for allowing Rats such a world amazing, to exist. Right? Oh, shut oh, yeah. up about these exorcists. They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. And five sets of legs, that's so many. That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs awesome. and scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing. You guys were commenting about this. Tails. Would they be tasty? No idea. Ugh, no way. That's awesome. You guys were just talking about that. We got Denor bottles, which we need to help us get out of the dungeons. Uh, and then there's one more explanation point. Oh, the Van Valvi is docked here again. A bunch of odd merchants had it built. He didn't hear it from me, but some say they're actually a bunch of pirates. <laughs> As though wanted outlaws could just sail right into our ports. 
Interesting. So acting openly can sometimes draw less attention. That's quite the unexpected blind spot. That is true, though. Sometimes you just act open and you're safe. But I think we're going to go ahead and say that last ex explanation point for the next episode, which of course will be up on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe down below. I love you so much. I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it.